Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the quickest way to set up Dolphin, the GameCube and Wii emulator. First, download Dolphin wherever you can download emulators. Once you have the folder extracted, it should be Dolphin-X64 or whatever, open it up and open up the Dolphin EXE tool after you have ROMs for either the Wii or GameCube. I own all the game ROMs that I have in this folder, so I cannot tell you legally where to get them because I own mine. Now open up dolphin.exe and it'll say for the first time you launch it that there's no game directory. You'll double click here in the white space and then it'll have you open up a folder and then you select your folder. I selected my ROMs folder and then all these showed up on their own. And what you want to do is go to options and controller settings and if you're using a keyboard or a mouse you click on this menu and you have keyboard controller dk bongos dance mat steering wheel for whatever game you're using um you might need a specific controller for it like donkey Konga. you'll need the bongos and then you'll click configure and then right here device i have it set to my ps5 dualsense wireless controller and you click on these and hit the button that you want to use for each of these and then when you're done, you can hit save as a preset profile. And then once you're completely done saving it, in case it unloads, you'll hit load and you'll have all your uh, button mappings back. You'll hit close when you're done. And then close here. And then you'll click on a game. I'm going to play Budokai Tenkaichi 3. And if we did the controller mapping right, the buttons, yep. Start button does work. Yep. Up and down works. X button works. Up and down. Alright, so far everything's working. And I'm just going to let the gameplay speak for itself from here on out. Let's do this! And that's doing a Wii game, so next I'll load up a GameCube game. most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs>
And I know I didn't test this game for too long, but there's too many cutscenes. It worked perfectly. As you can see, I could jump, run, move the camera around, and uh, do a belly slide, hang all the buttons on a GameCube controller that you would need. So, like, share, subscribe, and help us get to 4,000 watch hours. We need it before October 1st in order to be monetized. Thank you all so very much. We'll catch you next time on Bags and President Ross.